Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll make a one way colliding platform and we'll learn details of platform effector. Let's get started. As you can see I created a simple scene and we have a platform object. Let's start the game current state. As you can see the character collides with both surfaces of the platform. Let's have a one way collision. Select platform object, add component, physics 2D and platform factor 2D. Also you can write a factor to see all effectors. We have 5 different effectors. In this video we are gonna use platform effector. If you wish we can talk about other effectors in the next videos. To be able to use the effector we must enable the used by effector in the objects collider. Ok start the game again. Nice, platform effector is working. If you wanna learn details about platform effector, let's continue. With the collider mask, we determine which layer the object will interact with. Let's remove the interaction with the player. By changing rotational offset, we can change the interaction surface of the platform. Once set to false one way, the character will collide with the both surface of the platform. Let's learn the working logic of rotational offset and surface art with a sample circle. Ok, let's take a look at the latest feature of the platform effector. Using the platform effector, we can disable the friction and bounce feature on the size of an object. The ball has a physics material 2D like this. As you can see, the ball currently has bounce and friction. Now, I will disable the friction and bounce feature of this object with the ball. Friction enable. Bounce enable. By changing side arc, we can only disable the friction on the side. As you can see, the friction and bounce feature is active on the upper surface, but inactive on the side surfaces. Ok, I tried to explain platform factor in detail. I hope the video was useful for you. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.